I used to love to go to practice. And the reason I used to love to go to practice because I couldn't wait to find out what we were going to do new or different under Tom Nugent. Uh, Tom was such an innovator and so enthusiastic about everything he was uh, doing and the direction he was taking, uh, you know, the university. Right, now, let's go to Chris Bauer. Chris. Okay, Roger, I'm standing in a very special corner of the field, special in the heart of Lee Corso. In 1958, Florida State against Tennessee Tech. The first two-point conversion ever scored in college football it was a new rule that year, and a Florida State's opener, Vic Frenzy, rolled out on the quarterback rollout and dove in right there for the touchdown, and Lee Corso was a 23-year-old assistant, undoubtedly going wild on the sideline. Absolutely. A point of history. We don't have a lot of tradition at Coral State, but we got one that no one else Tom Nugent wanted to do that, didn't he? He knew what it was all about. Around the left side, Victor Floyd. And by the way, Vic Prinzi, who is a great quarterback here at Florida State, is an analyst on the Seminole Radio Network in just a couple of booths over. You know, Raj, you can't win as a football coach without a great administration. President Bernie Sligo, who's got three degrees from Michigan State, athletic director Hootie Ingram, SID Wade Holden, they've got everything here at Florida State to win a national championship. One last play with the clock running down. Keith Ross down inside the five. We're going to be at uh, Syracuse next Saturday. Of course, we got a doubleheader for you coming up. Syracuse and Pitt will be our afternoon game, and BYU and Miami will be our evening contest. So we've got uh, still more regular season action as that ends this game from Dope Campbell Stadium in Tallahassee, Florida, and Florida State with the biggest margin of victory ever against the Gators. The final score, Florida State 52 and Florida 17.